what up okay so i'm going to be leaving for europe in two days and i have made the conscious decision to bring my backpack which is currently laying over there on the floor sorry if you can see my feet can you see it maybe not yes that blue thing that's on the uh, floor i'm only bringing that because Every time that I go out of the country, I overpack and that is like my biggest gripe with anyone when you get on a plane and you have nowhere to put your stuff because someone has packed three carry-ons and I realized three carry-ons worth of, of things sometimes people bring and then they don't leave any space for you. That's one of the gripes I have and I don't want to be that person. And then secondly, I don't want to carry a lot of shit through Europe and I'm going to be doing a long ass, well, two plane rides to be exact and Towards the long, oh, something in my mouth. It's gross. Um, anyways, I'm all over the place. After I go the second leg of this long ass flight, I do not want to be waiting around for the carousel necessarily. I already have to go through customs, which may or may not take a long time. I, I, I don't know. I, this is a side note. I feel like customs... Going through customs in the United States is, is really tedious and it's long and maybe that's why I feel like it, it's, I feel like outside of the United States I haven't had that experience so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm being a crazy lady. But um, basically what I'm saying is I want to make this, it's this quick, this trip as efficient as possible and I don't want to be fucking waiting around at the carousel for my luggage that may or may not show up. I say that because... I was in Australia and my husband and I were, we had a series of flights. And by the time we got to the land down under, we were uh, disoriented and tired and looked like a hot mess. Like, have you ever seen that uh, clip of the Simpsons when they flew to Australia? It shows, I think it shows what they look like. They look like on Monday and it shows them showing up on Australia on Wednesday and they all were like a disheveled. Yeah, that's what I, that's what we look like. But anyways, I'm saying that all that because when we actually got to the care to get our stuff, there was no bag for us. We waited, looked around, everyone's getting their shit. Me and my husband just sitting there looking like, okay, any second now, because ours is always the last to show up and I don't know why. So it's always, and then the carousel stops and there's no bags. Yeah, and we were too tired and all I wanted to do was like take a shower and go to sleep. And I just, I don't really want that. That trip was a little longer. This one's only like seven days. Yes, seven days. And, but the point is, I just want to, cause I have to go from Brussels and then I have to catch the train, which thank God the train station is already at the, um, Brussels airport. So all I have to do is literally just maneuver around the airport and get on the train. So I have to take the train from Brussels and go to Amsterdam. And I want to do that as quickly as possible and not be fucking waiting around for a bag of shit that I'm not even going to use. So anyways, yes, I've decided to make this move. I have, we just, my husband and I just came back from Target, so I have, like, this travel stuff. I really hope, because I wear a lot of sunscreen on my face, because I'm moisturizer, I'm hoping, I dropped it, this does not, this does not give me a white shadow cast on my face. A lot of moisturizers with SPF are guilty of this, and I'm very specific. Usually I use Aveeno, and there's another type in there. I wear SPF 30 and it's hit or miss with certain moisturizers. Either it will um, just melt into your skin and blend beautifully. Like I have SPF 30 on my face right now. And then there are some where it's like no matter how much you, you know, rub, you still look ashy. That's, I mean, that's a good, that's what I'm looking for. You look ashy. And so I'm not, so I'm hoping this doesn't do that because this is the only moisturizer I'm not packing anything more than this for my face outside of the Dove bar of soap that I am going to use. So I'm hoping that that doesn't, you know, I'm being a very much a minimalist on this trip and I think I'll probably be a better person for it because I feel like a lot of people overpack and I'm not having it. And I guess I'll, we'll see what that gets me in Europe. Okay, bye.